All right, hello everyone. I don't normally do this sort of thing. I don't normally do tutorials, but this one, I I've I've been struggling with this one for a really long time, and it got to the point where I couldn't find a solution. So I needed to learn a tiny bit of CSS code. I think that's what it's called to get this to work. But essentially, um, I like to stream Spelunky quite a lot. And I like to have my controller uh, configuration really simple. So if I just uh, bring your attention to the controller here and the controller on the left here, I push the buttons, the stuff happens. We'll talk about the right in a bit because that's what we're going to get to, essentially. Um, being able to show your controller is great. Uh, for obvious reasons, like something funny happens and you was like, oh, I was pressing X, this was supposed to be happening, but you could see something crazy was happening. It's great for people who play eSports because they can actually show what they want to do, but skip all that intro part. Uh, this is the actual thing. So this is the website uh, Gamepad Viewer, as you can see up there, gamepadviewer.com. Really, really good, pretty easy to use. If you have problems with it, just unplug and replug your controller and switch through these player parts. Um, what we're looking for here is a generate a URL. So you're going to want to generate a URL and you can have a look at these settings if you want. You can change some stuff. So for me, I want a Xbox One skin. So I'm going to pick that. And that basically gives me the link here. And if you're using Streamlabs, uh, as you can see here, I've already got it open. So I'll just bring it over here so you can see. Forgive the things being overlapped. Um, I've got a little bit of CSS code here, and it's on these input here uh, folder here that I use. So this is the controller on the left here. This is what you should end up with when you copy your link and paste it into a, a browser source is what you're going to look for. You can find that on add source, uh, and you're going to paste your uh, URL you generated in here. I hope this isn't too confusing, and this is the, called the custom CSS down here, and this is what we're going to edit. So I've got a little bit of code that uh, we just inject. Oh, that's probably not the correct term. We inject in here. So this is what I, I've put in here. Essentially, I've got, um, I'm overwriting the background that was there before. This means um, that there's no like background image of the controller. So you've only got the stuff you need, and it's not like filling up loads of the monitor. And that's much better. That's much more comfortable. It's, it's much visually nicer, and you can still see the sticks as well. So it's much better than chroma keying it, and you don't get the weird aliasing on the outside. So you just take doc, you probably don't even need this extra stuff, just the uh, background dot um, colon none is what we need. And I will paste that in the description. Hopefully it will work, because it might mess up YouTube's HTML. But it's there if you just want to vaguely copy that down. Another great thing this fixed by accident is when I disconnect the controller, you see I've got the big fat red disconnect. It also removes that background as well. I hope this uh, tutorial wasn't too long. I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, I'll do my best. I'm really new to this. But um, there, that's that. Thank you.